Hello students, in today's lesson, I'm going to discuss accounting equation. I'm going to define assets, liabilities and capital. After that, we will discuss some examples to clarify your concepts. So let's start. Accounting equation is assets are equal to liabilities plus capital. Statement of financial position is prepared on accounting equation. We can restate accounting equation as assets minus liabilities is equal to capital or equity. So capital is the term that we use in case of sole trader or partnership. Equity is the term that we use in case of company. So first of all, I'm going to define what are assets. In very easy to understand words, assets are items that we use in business. When it comes to accounting definition, an asset is any resource that business owns and controls and from where it generates economic benefits. There are two types of assets, non-current assets and current assets. Non-current assets are those that are useful over 12 months. Non-current assets are those that are useful for more than 12 months. There are two types of non-current assets, intangible assets and tangible fixed assets. First of all, I'm going to discuss tangible fixed assets. Examples are land, building, plant and machinery, equipment, vehicle, furniture and fixtures. So basically these are all those assets that are useful for more than 12 months. We have another type of intangible assets. Intangible assets are those that do not have physical existence. For example, goodwill, brands, copyrights, development expenditure, etc. Next, I'm going to discuss current assets. Current assets are those that are to be used or consumed within 12 months. Examples of current assets are inventory or stock of goods. So basically, inventory or stock of goods is the stuff that business sells. So for example, if we talk about Primark cloth retailer, for Primark, their inventory will consist of clothes. If we talk about Apple, their inventory will consist of iPhones, laptops, uh, MacBooks, and other gadgets. Okay, so inventory or stock of goods are the things that business sells. Next we have current asset, accounts receivable. Account receivable is also known as trade receivable or debtors. These are credit customers who owe us money for goods sold. Then we have other receivables, for example, bank interest receivable. Next, we have prepaid expenses. These are those expenses that are paid in advance. For example, rent paid in advance or insurance paid in advance. After that, we have cash in hand and then we have cash at bank. So all these are examples of current assets. Next, we got liabilities. Liabilities are amount of money that business owe to other parties. There are two types of liabilities, non-current liabilities and current liabilities. Non-current liabilities are those that are to be paid or settled after 12 months. For example, long-term loans, mortgage, etc. Current liabilities are those that are to be paid or settled within 12 months. For example, 
ट्रेड पेबल्स अकाउंट पेबल्स और क्रेडिटर्स ट्रेड पेबल्स अकाउंट पेबल्स और क्रेडिटर्स आर क्रेडिट सप्लायर्स टू होम वी ओ मनी फॉर गुड्स परचेज देन वी हैव अदर एक्सपेंसिस पेबल अदर एक्सपेंसिस पेबल आर ऑल्सो नोन एज बिल्स पेबल्स और एक्वल्स Next we got equity or capital. Equity or capital is any amount of money or other assets that owners invest in business. So for example, you are starting a new business and you are dedicating your cash, let's say 10,000 pounds and your personal car worth of 5,000 pounds. it means that total capital contributed by you to business is 15000 pounds 5000 pounds in the form of car 10000 pounds in the form of cash equity or capital is basically business liability towards owners okay next we got exercise 1 here we are going to discuss what items are assets and what items are expenses so from a to f we got different items and we have to assess which ones are liabilities which ones are assets so first we got loan to c shirley loan to c shirley is an asset it's not a liability don't don't confuse yourself because loan to c shirley we have lent money <clears throat> excuse me so when we are lending money to someone it's an asset for us after that we got bank overdraft which is a liability fixture and fittings is an asset these are basically building fittings after that we got computers computer equipment is an example of assets then we have we o a supplier for goods this is an example of liability because this is trade payables after that we got warehouse we own warehouse uh, is an example of business asset now we are going to do second uh, second question second exercise again we will assess which ones of these are assets liabilities assets or liabilities so first we got motor vehicles so first we got motor vehicles then we got premises both of them are assets premises means property property includes land and building parts creditor for goods what do you think what is creditor for goods it's a liability then we got stock of goods stock of goods is an inventory then we got debtors debtors account receivable or trade receivable are the same thing debtors are assets current assets owing to bank is a liability cash in hand is asset loan from d jones basically this is a liability because it's loan from we have taken loan so it's our liability and next we got machinery so machinery is a non current asset so this is an introduction to accounting equation in the next lesson we will learn about double entry bookkeeping system in the description i am posting a link from that link you can download this word file where i have made all these notes so next video will be on double entry bookkeeping system if you like my video please like subscribe and hit the bell icon thank you so much